The media and the establishment can not stop Russia gating. They're addicted. Listen, I don't want to talk about this. I'm so done with it. In my mind, as soon as we got the final Mueller report, and effectively, they didn't get Donald Trump on Dickie McGee's axe. I was like, okay, well, at least this is put to bed now, and I never have to talk about this annoying, dumb issue anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Because they don't stop. They didn't learn their lesson. They don't care. And they're going to keep going forward with the same narratives. So here's the latest installment. The CIA assessed in August that Russian President Vladimir Putin, now take note of this wording, guys, and his top aides, quote, are aware of and probably directing Russia's influence operations aimed at undermining Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden in the 2020 election, according to a new report in the Washington Post. We assess that President Vladimir Putin and the senior most Russian officials are aware of and probably directing Russia's influence operations aimed at denigrating the former U.S. president, supporting the U.S. president, and fueling public discord ahead of the U.S. election in November. The first line of the assessment reads, the Post reported, the CIA compiled its August 31st assessment with input from the National Security Agency and the FBI using public, unclassified, and classified intelligence sources, the Post reported, citing two sources who reviewed the document. The CIA and Office of the Director of National Intelligence declined to comment. CNN has also reached out to the NSA and the FBI. The agencies declined to comment to the Post. Former CIA officer Douglas London told CNN that the agency's use of the word probably when concerning an issue of such importance means it's, quote, analysts are sufficiently confident based on their deep expertise to put their reputations on the line in making such a call. It means the intel is good enough that they're not guessing, but have enough pieces of the puzzle to confidently make out the image. Now for a reality check. The reason they use the word probably is because there is zero evidence of what they're claiming and they can't prove it and if they're pushed on proving it they got nothing to show you and so they say probably this is happening and then when you say whoa whoa, whoa I'm gonna need more than that they say I'm relying on my deep expertise and then the media outlets were like well we tried to contact the NSA and the FBI and the CIA and tried to get them to say more and they wouldn't say anything If you can't see now, at this late date, how ridiculous this is, then you don't want to see how ridiculous it is. Like, your mind is made up. It was never about, like, following the evidence. You decide, you latched onto a narrative. The narrative is Trump is a Manchurian candidate of Russia. He's Vladimir Putin's puppet. And all of the evidence, to the contrary, you disregarded. Guys, remember, this, we just covered the story. We just covered the story about how the Pentagon is sending more troops into Syria to combat Russian influence in the region. So at a time where the argument is Trump is Putin's puppet, he's literally militarily escal escalating with him. There's also sanctions on Russia. He also didn't approve a pipeline that would have made them a lot of money. The idea that he's a puppet to Putin as he repeatedly does things like arm Ukrainian rebels that Putin doesn't want, it, it defies all logic and reason and evidence. But people in the media still latch onto it, Democrats still latch onto it, because they think it's politically advantageous for them to drive this narrative. Well, if there was some sort of deep plot, Mueller would have uncovered it, but he didn't, because there isn't. It turns out the boring thing about Trump is true. What's the boring thing? He's an idiot reality star host who stumbled his way into the presidency. He's a moron. There wasn't some high level thing going on. By the way, am I saying he's any better than other politicians? No, of course not. He's corrupt just like the rest of them. But he's owned by Wall Street and the military industrial complex. Not by a foreign power. And to the extent any foreign power is controlling what he does, take a look at Israel and Saudi Arabia. Because those are the ones who get endless favors. Endless. 
all the time. Multi-billion dollar weapons deal to, to Saudi Arabia. As Saudi Arabia has given him money through his hotel in, in D.C. By the way, there's your collusion. There's, he's acting like a puppet to Saudi Arabia in that respect. They're paying him personally and he's giving them weapons. But that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Because it's not Russia. Is, is Putin funneling in money through his D.C. hotel? Take out Saudi Arabia in that story and put it in Russia. And then tell that story. And you know all the Democrats would be over it, all over it, nonstop. They wouldn't shut up about it. But because it's Saudi Arabia, they don't, talk, they don't touch it. If it was Russia, oh my God, we'd never hear the end of it. And they would be right to scream about it if it was Russia in that instance. Because that is a quid pro quo. Give me money through the hotel, then I'll do favors for you. Doesn't fit the narrative. That's too, that's standard corruption that we're used to from other Democratic presidents and Republican presidents too. So I think, yeah, of course, we're cucks to Saudi Arabia. Duh, we're cucks to Israel. Duh. That doesn't make that not a bombshell. That is a bombshell. It's not a bombshell because he's not under Vladimir Putin's thumb like you guys claim he is. And now we get this nonsense. They're never going to stop. They're never going to stop. It's going to keep going no matter what. doesn't matter that they got nothing even though they exhausted this path. It doesn't matter. They're going to keep going. And now, I mean, look at how vague this is and broad this is too. Vladimir Putin is directing Russia's influence operations. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, he wants Trump. He doesn't want Biden. So he's... I mean, this, this wording is like so vague on purpose. Directing Russia's influence operations. What does that mean? He's creating the troll farms himself? Is that what he's doing? He's making a number of Twitter accounts and trying to get people riled up in the U.S. to fight each other over Black Lives Matter or whatever? Like, look at, look at the stuff they're talking about, guys. We have a pandemic where 200,000 Americans are dead. We have a freaking depression where the real unemployment rate is like 20%. Wages are plummeting. I mean, they will not stop with this. And the reason why they use the word probably is because they have no damn evidence. Because it's not true. It's not real. But they won't stop Russiagating. This isn't going to stop. And the mindless resistance drones will plow forward, not understanding at all. That this is liberal QAnon. That's what this is. This is liberal QAnon. Or liberal Benghazi or liberal birtherism. That's what it is. Just like the right wouldn't shut up about Benghazi. Every eight seconds they bring up Benghazi. This is the same thing for the hashtag resistance crowd. Russia, 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 Russia. For the love of Christ, talk about the real stuff. Trump just... Got rid of the regulations on coal plants, and 1.1 million people are going to have poisoned drinking water with, like, mercury and arsenic and all types of stuff in it. And people are going to get sick. You want to talk about that a little bit? No. That's... Poisoning people by polluting their water is too boring. The 2017 tax cut law, which gave all the money to the rich, 83% of the benefits of that bill go to the top 1%. Too boring. Too standard. And by the way, to talk about this other stuff, you actually got to read and do the work. But you just act like Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh my God, Russia's controlling Trump all the time. All you got to do is tune into Maddow and shut your brain off. She won't stop either. None of them are going to stop. So anyway, get used to this. This is the new normal. There's going to be a story every two weeks, every three weeks from now until forever of, oh my God, Russia's really controlling Trump and gets all the Republicans and Russia, 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 Russia. Not understanding this is literal McCarthyism. Just now, it's the Democrats who are pushing it. See, this is what happens when the Overton window shifts. Again, the Republicans were the right-wing party. Now the Republicans are the far-right party, and the Democrats are the center-right party. So the Democrats are doing everything that happened to them in the previous generation, where you had the Red Scare going against the Democrats the last time. Now the Democrats are doing the Red Scare nonsense, the McCarthyism against the right, because they're the center-right party. Disgusting. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I, I can't believe I still have to talk about this. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen.